Today I want to look at a verse from the Gospel of Luke. I hope you've been reading the Gospel of John. If you're done reading the Gospel of John and you've read through that a couple of times, I would encourage you, read the other Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. They all come right before the Gospel of John. But in Luke chapter 23, verse 34, Jesus says, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. The context here is very important to understand what Jesus is really saying and the impact of what he says. He made this statement as he was hanging on the cross. Everything that preceded this adds to the impact of this statement. And I want to share some of what came before this. Jesus had spent three years teaching, healing, and caring for people. A few days before this, the people had cheered for him as he entered Jerusalem. The day before this, one of his disciples had betrayed him, and he was falsely arrested. After the arrest, another one of his disciples denied that he even knew Jesus, not once or twice, but three times. Jesus was dragged to multiple trials, Every single one of those trials was not looking for justice or truth. He was terribly abused. He was beaten with sticks. He was mocked. He was spat on. He was humiliated. He was flogged with a whip. The people who had cheered for him a few days earlier had screamed for his death a few hours before this. He had to carry the cross as far as he could before he dropped in exhaustion. They nailed him to that cross and they put those nails through the nerve centers in his wrist to make the pain as bad as possible. He was crucified with a thief on either side and he endured their mocking as well as the mocking of the religious leaders and the people who were there to watch him die. He gave his mother away so that somebody else would care for her since he knew he couldn't. He watched as the guards gambled his clothes away as he hung naked on the cross, exposed in every way to the world in humiliation. And on top of that, he understood why he was on that cross. It was to pay for my sin and your sin. He carried our sin. And because he carried our sin, he realized that God the Father had turned his back on him and he was there alone. That's the context of these words. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Do you realize what Jesus is saying here? He's saying, even though he was on the cross, dying because of those around him, he wanted God to forgive them. The same ones who had cheered for him on Palm Sunday and then cried out, crucify him, a few days later, he wanted forgiven. The same ones that watched him heal the sick and raise the death and then turned on him, he wanted God to forgive. What does that say about God? Isn't that a picture of love that goes beyond anything we can fully understand? Doesn't that say he cares more than we often believe he does? As, G as God in the person of Jesus was dying in terrible agony, he was more concerned for how God the Father would respond to those there than he was for himself. And he died for them. But understand, Jesus also died for you and for me. He wants God to forgive us. He took our sin. He paid the price before a holy and perfect God for what we had done that is less than perfect. He knew we could not meet the standard that a perfect God sets of absolute perfection. And so he met that standard for us. He offers us his perfection in exchange for our sin or imperfection. It's a gift. We can't earn it. We can't pay him back for it. All we can do is accept it. 
But accepting that gift is life-changing. How can you respond to that kind of sacrificial love and not have it change your life? Somebody donated a kidney or a heart or, or a liver or something like that so that we could live instead of die. We would do anything that we could for them in gratitude. That should be our response to Jesus. To live for him instead of living for us. Not as an obligation, but out of gratitude for what he did for us. That's one of the big differences between relying on religion and trusting in Jesus. The one is an obligation. It's work. It's demoralizing because we can never do enough. The other is refreshing. It's joyful. It's victorious because Jesus did the work for us. We only respond to him. Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. He wants our forgiveness. We don't deserve it. We can't expect it based on who we are. But he offers it through his death and his resurrection as a gift. What is your response? Will you accept that gift and allow God to change your life? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we can't thank you enough for paying the price we deserve to pay for our sin. We can't ever hope to pay you back. Your love for us is beyond what we can ever hope to understand completely. But help us to see more clearly who you are and respond to you as you deserve. In Jesus' name, amen.